all right last class uh, sorry yesterday i have to cancel the class because there's no wi-fi here so that's the reason i cancel the class because i'm working from uphm now no more from home now uh, they fix it hopefully uh, you can see here uthm temporary temporarily they fix it something is going on anyway um last class we stop here i ask you to do a uh, we, we go through until here and then i ask you to do exercise in class 5 if i'm not mistaken okay so hopefully have all of you have tried now you can check the answer here uh, there is a small typo here this is um there's there's no sign here okay this sign you can ignore this sign you can ignore only okay, this is the answer for the double check okay you want to copy this you can copy i give you some time hope you guys are well versed now with the normal distribution okay uh, if if uh, i suppose you guys know now uh, if this is this side so this is one tail all this one is 0.05 and this one should be 1.65 this how it goes huh? all this uh, we already done this in uh, chapter 3 anyway All right, next.
all right so <coughs> hopefully all of you get the correct answer now we are going for <coughs> hypothesis testing for single population mean n less than 30 <coughs> Uh, sorry, total. Yes. I want to ask. Uh, for the just now question for yeah. the step three, is that we don't need to divide to uh divide two? Which one? Just on this one. Ah, for the five percent. No need. No need. No need. Uh, why? Because because there's no equal here, unequal here. If oh. if there's a this sign, then two tail. Divide two. Okay. Thank you. Can understand? Okay. Eh? okay eh? All right. Any other question in anybody have any question in uh, this one is cancel this one is. Question five huh? any anybody have any question you can interrupt me don't worry you just open the mic and uh, stop me and ask me the question all right now we are here now hypothesis testing for single population mean n less than 30 <coughs> uh, please open your mic and talk eh? otherwise uh, oh, somebody is here anyway. now for this part n is less than 30 so whenever we have seen before uh, the uh, the for n equal n less than 30 uh, the in the estimation question i guess we went through t distribution and uh, t distribution now the same thing we are going to go through here have a read first exercise in class 6 Okay, this would be your uh, population mean and uh, this would be your sample mean, this would be your sample, this would be your standard deviation, they want less than, so this would be your alternative hypothesis, less than, your null hypothesis always equal to 0, alright, all this uh, notation, all this information you must gather while you are reading the questions okay in order to do it faster all right so let us go for the okay this is your hypothesis let me go through this one eh? okay if you notice here step one step two and step three uh, step one step two okay it's easy for you to write for so step three now we are in a t distribution as you all notice when we do a estimation or the before that maybe sampling distribution i have introduced you the t distribution whereby this is t alpha and degree of freedom the v yeah? Th these are all parameter anyway don't worry about it this is the parameter for you to get the critical value okay so our state of significant level is 0 0.05 you can see this one is left hand side this is also a one tail you can still use the normal thing eh? the distribution this is here 0 0.05 <coughs> and then um, based on the table we are going to let us let us go through the table 0 0.05 
टी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फिफ्टीन है जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फिफ्टीन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव लेट मी मेक इट लिटल बिट बिगर एंड सी हियर दिस इज द आंसर वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव थ्री ओके वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव थ्री ऑफ कोर्स हियर इट इज पॉजिटिव ओके बट देन इफ यू नोटिस हियर योर टेल इज ऑन द नेगेटिव साइड इज दिस इज नेगेटिव दिस इज पॉजिटिव so this is your negative side so i i put a negative here okay this how i identify the critical value copy this first i leave some time copy this first step 4 calculate test statistics is the same thing and then you go and compare now if you compare this negative and um, negative 1.667 is here so it is the acceptable region okay the red color is the rejection region or is acceptable acceptable region right so <coughs> once you find test statistics critical value now you compare we accept all hypotheses and then you write the conclusion
All right, that, that is the answer for question uh, six. Now try question seven now. You, you try first. Hopefully you guys have the T table, you try first. It is believed that the mean time that the third year students spend in a library, so this, this could be a population mean. The random sample n is here. This is your n. Mean time is this is x bar. This is your s then. Test we test the view that the mean time spent left is greater than this is your null hypothesis now greater than okay this 18 over greater than this is your significant level okay all this information is here now you can try it
all right check the answer for the first uh, four steps huh? These are the four steps. Okay, now go back to the last three steps. Just this one. If you guess any, don't know anything. You didn't get the answer. Your answer is different from me. Then you may ask me. Okay. Alright, next question. Try this.
Suppose we want to try, we want to test on the basis of, of a random sample of 8. This is n equal to 8. Whether the average fat contains certain of make of ice cream is less than, less than. Alternative is less than a 15 percentage. This is your population mean. The sample mean of the fat contain is x bar and this is a standard deviation. What conclusion will you come up to a 1% significant, significant level? Okay, this is the information you are getting from the question. With all this information try to answer. Tata? Yes. Uh, may I ask you to draw the bell graph for exercise uh, 7? Seven? 7. Alright. Yes. Thank you, Tata. So, if you notice here, uh, this is And uh, one point one point seven seven is here. This is a rejection region. Okay, red color is the rejection region, and the blue color is the acceptance region. Okay, this one is here. And uh, where is this uh, critical value? Is two point nine here? Two point nine four. So it falls in the rejection region, this is reject. If it falls in the red color, this is reject. The blue color is accept. Therefore, 294 is greater than 1.711, greater. Okay, it's on the, this is what I write. I, I write the other way around. It's the same thing anyway. Okay. And then uh, if it, okay, never mind. Uh, you copy this one first. Since uh, it is for the rejection region, we have to reject. Eh? Yeah, reject null hypothesis. Never mind, copy this one first. Alright, copy it already. Done, done, done.
So we reject all hypothesis and then write the conclusion. Eh? Right. Okay, try for this one first. That says plus eight. <coughs> All right. The first <coughs> four step. <coughs> you can see here this is left hand side. So one tail there, sir. and then this is your rejection this is the re acceptance region but this number is here now and 
that case you accept the null hypothesis because it falls in the acceptance region. Right. Step five, six, and seven. I might give you some more time, little bit more time for you to write this. Alright, step five, oh, yeah. negative, isn't it? Okay, step five, six, and seven.
exercise 9 this one you try to get the see this one is focus on production line produce an average 40 item shift quality item now in this, in this case uh, you try first this one. maybe in this case I need to help you also workers on a production line produce an average of 154 quality item per shift this one is A training package has been developed to and tested on a random sample. This is and the 20 workers in the sample produce of average of 141 item with a standard. The training package has will be applied to all workers if can be shown that the improved workers' performance. Workers on a production line produce an average of 154 faulty item per week eh, per shift. Eh? 154 faulty item we cannot use the item if it improved workers performance then this one should be less than so your alternative performance alternative alternative should be less than 154 if it is less than 154 then the it improve workers performance because this is faulty item eh? <coughs> significant level is 0. Point Zero one. Okay, now you guys try.
the first four steps. Inside. and your critical value is here So it falls in the rejection region, eh? it falls in the rejection region, and therefore you have to reject the null hypothesis. Right, we're going for last three steps. And like this. Huh?
all right so uh, we have finished another another section which is hypothesis testing uh, with single mean n less than 30 there's one last section we will cover this in our sunday class hopefully the wi-fi is still uh, no problem with the internet connection on sunday now <coughs> Uh, that's all for today for for this part eh? but don't go yet just hold on for a while I'm, I am going to explain you regarding the test uh, the, the assignment so if you notice here this is the assignment the one I gave you a member of COVID-19 task force claimed that the amount of variable X and influences the amount of variable X influences the decrement of variable y so all this i have explained in the video okay all this i have explained in the video and the due date is 15 january you can give me earlier if you want and you have to refer to this website it's a government website and you have to submit your full answer script in pdf eh? pdf to my whatsapp and also to this email all right <coughs> now um, as you see these are the list of the names and uh, your states are here uh, one thing you need to understand even though i put here group group one group two and group three all this thing group four all five but it is not a group assignment okay w worst come worst if you want to create a group wh what uh, what you can do the only common thing for these 14 people is your the only common com there's in fact there's no common actually the only common thing is variable x which is daily fully vaccinated uh, daily fully vaccinated people and daily covid 19 cases but then even even uh, for for this case afri saul eh, you going to take for joho so the data for daily fully vaccinated people for joho and daily full, daily covid cases in the adult category for joho is going to be differ with kada and klantan and Mlaka. all these are going to be differ so for me if you ask me no point uh, no point having a whatsapp group in uh, group by group i i write a group here just to notice that the variable x and y are same but then when you go by individual it's going to be differ by data because it is different state okay hope for you hopefully you guys understand this eh? all right so no point uh, no point uh, creating a group unless i don't know which what what you're going to go going to discuss but it's all up to you it's an individual assignment uh, each one of you have to compile the answer script and uh, send to me not by group eh? uh, another thing is some student asked me uh, so what is the rubric uh, how how am i going to write and uh, what is the uh, font size or what is the spacing and, and uh, between the two things all these things all this your presentation of your answer script i leave it to you you are flexible as long as um, the first page if you notice in the video the first page what is that name uh, metric number section if you please go through the video eh? and also date and there's a data here this must be your first page after this after this you can try answer the the three item here on your own method there's no um, I, I didn't put any condition on that as long as you put a put a scatter plot b put a uh, calculate this one and c put a regression line you can use by by your laptop you can use typing okay you can use type you can type your answer and give it to me or you can use your handwriting both are acceptable okay because uh, in this case i allow you to type because all your data are going to be differ somehow you have to compute by your own self okay you can you your friend cannot copy yours okay so everything is different or each one of you going to work out on your own uh, effort and time okay you're going to spend on your own time so type your answer or handwrite your answer okay as long as your answer script looks very neat is presentable okay i can go through when i go through your answer script i can understand what you're writing 
okay all this is there then you will get uh, some good marks okay uh, please also at the end of the uh, maybe this one eh, explain briefly your finding you can put this in a separate page separate page of course everything going to be the first page second page and third page and when you come to explain briefly you don't continue from here you put in a separate page and write right here and don't forget to attach your proof remember when you see the video i ask you to screenshot huh? screenshot the proof that you are taking the data from that website so all this you need to un uh, attach there okay two screenshot one is for the x variable one is the y variable so that i know <laughs> you are using this website and don't you are not cheating me by simply putting any number there okay if you don't give all these things then mark will be deducted and don't come and argue with me okay he is very strict it is not fair for me to be flexible with you in marking and not for the others so please uh, follow the instruction if you don't know anything ask me before you sending to me okay not after sending to me okay be, please take it serious do it properly any question you can whatsapp me and you cannot ask me how to do the thing okay it's, it's assignment you may ask me regarding the data how to collect the data where to collect the data if you have difficulty in using the website okay some student asked me to check the time interval okay no problem i that one i can do i can only check the time interval i cannot check the data okay the data you have to collect from the thing i cannot check the data i cannot check the number of data whether it is right from the, is it is it uh, right that you are get, uh, getting from the no no that one i cannot check okay what i mean is if you put a 1 november first data is 1 november and is a fully vaccinated next one should be 8 november uh, this one i check but the number data i don't check okay later on when i check if it is wrong then i will detect the mark so make sure the data is correct it's assignment you have to do it not giving me to check the answer okay for fully vaccinated is 7 okay if you notice the thing eh? fully vaccinated 7 partially vaccinated it should be 12 so here should be 13 and between this data two data okay so after that 14 15 this one 2 3 something like that okay that is regarding your assignment any question you can ask me later don't worry okay you still have uh, plenty of time okay try to get the data first okay get the data first before the data is uh, is obsolete from the website I mean, it is because the the website keep on updating. I don't think so. They will keep the November one. By the time you want to do in January, uh, who knows? Maybe the 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 November data is gone there already. <coughs> that is regarding uh, assignment. Okay. Hopefully, you guys understand how to do all these things. No point. No point creating a group. It's an individual assignment anyway. Now. Your test, your test later on, on uh, 26, eh? later on 26 or 25 before or one day, one day earlier, I will give a list like this. Okay, I will give a list that your name will be there. This is your student 1, student 2. Okay, there is a name list. There will be a name list. I will create a name list. Then three, four, something like this. Okay. And then there's another column here. Okay. It's like this. Your your test comprises nine parts. Okay. Part A. There's a link. For part A, I will give a Google link. Google Google uh, Google form. Eh? Google form. All your tests going to be. You are going to deal with Google form. Your answer also you will write you will you will write in the Google Google form. You tick that. It's a multiple choice question. You just tick that A, B, C, D, which one? Tick that. And then submit. The question, answer all in Google form, you tick the answer and submit. That's all. Very easy. But then there are going to be eight Google link. Google form. Okay. Eight Google form. Part P, part C, part D sorry not eight nine eh? nine until nine Wait, 
there until for a mistaken part i but you no need to do all until part i as i told you your your test comprises two question only one each part is question one this is one question this is one question this is one question so in this column okay there's another column here for student one for example just now what what was the name of a free sorry uh, a free soul eh? so let's say i write here a free soul Yeah, free soul something here. Yeah. Then let's say I put for a free soul part uh, B and D. Okay, there, there, there's a two letter there. So what a free soul have to do is click the link on B and answer the question, and click the link in D and answer the question. <coughs> okay, that's all you have to do. You have to answer. Out of nine part, you only have to answer two part, and that two part I will write here. So maybe student two, maybe I give A and C. So he only answer part A and C. So there is a random letter, okay? <coughs> random letter. So this is how you have to do, and then submit. The rest you no need to answer, okay? Hopefully you guys understand this system. So out of nine part, you have to choose two, and which. how you know which part to choose i will give a list i think before the uh, may maybe on the date okay on the date because it's not very tough isn't it on 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 the day you can see your name and you see what which part you have to do click the link quickly do and then submit the thing time duration for the time being i give you until 1:30 eh okay one one and a half hour in one and a half hour you have to finish everything because i suppose one question 45 minutes something like that okay so in, you no need to because why one and a half hour you no need to uh, take a photo to compile in pdf and send to me then in that case i give two hours half an hour to send me the answer script but this one is just compute there and answer immediately in the google form so there's no reason for you to have an extra half an hour maybe each question you can take 45 minutes and 45 minutes 30 minutes to do and 15 minutes to double check <coughs> okay that is how i calculate the time duration so it is going to start uh, when is our class <coughs> on sunday oh so next sunday i we won't continue the lesson next sunday is our uh, test uh 2 o'clock eh? so next sunday is going to be 2 to 3:30 3:30 pm Uh, you no need to you no need to log in okay you no need to come to the class you no need to log in to the google meet okay uh, during this time 2 to 3:30 you going to sit at your home and do your test okay so i'm going to share all this in the uh, whatsapp there's no class okay you no need to come to uh, the google meet there's we are not going to meet you just sit there i will share the list Uh, of name and also the link for the google form and you click and then you start do by by 3:30 you have to submit to me okay submit means uh, in the google form everything submit inside that okay so next sunday is your test no class no class means it's not that you are not we uh, not going to uh, communicate with me you we are still going to have the thing the test eh? so don't think that you can go anywhere All right. That's all for today. Any question you may ask me? Doctor. Yeah, sure. Uh, can we see the question before we choose which part that we are going to do? Which question? Test. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, the test. You just click. You see, you, what is your name now? Misha. Nina. Okay, let's say your Misha, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so let's say Misha. And then I give you part A and B. Okay, you you will have a list. You download the list. You see part A and B. At the same time, I will also 
S- send this to your whatsapp can you understand yes i will also send this to your whatsapp there's a google link if you see a you press the you press the uh, google link uh, the i mean the google form link and then immediately do the question whatever inside the part a you all you have to do can you understand yes sir okay. thank you okay any other question you see there's no once once i give you part a and b which means whatever question inside part a you have to do whatever question inside part b you have to do there's there's no such thing you open part a and then you have to choose any question no 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 whatever in all the question part a all the question part b you have to do the rest of the part no need to touch don't touch okay all right <clears throat> don't worry if you have any other question you can also whatsapp or sub me and uh, communicate me <coughs> before the time. uh doctor yes sorry for us uh, i want to ask uh for the night part is mcq right or yeah. only yeah. part all or all. All, all is mcq okay yes, okay all MCQ. oh so mean meaning that uh every student have different different question and uh, different two questions you know? that one you know it's different two question but why you want to worry about that of course that one no need yeah. to worry you see oh i i think i think uh inside the part got subjective no 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 all is on on this mcq uh. all right, all, see, right. all the thing you have to do is you see your name you see your what part you have to do just click the thing you do okay strictly okay or the no, strictly no communication with other student okay okay don't don't uh, worry definitely. about same or different question that is none of your business okay not only for you i'm talking i'm telling to all the students uh, if you if you com- it's supposed to be like this if you communicate with other student if you want to see where check whether your question is same or different then it is it is called cheating okay in that case so this is called uh, cheating we cannot do that that's the reason we are doing this you open your name you see your name you see your two letters open that part two part do the thing that's it finish all right all right so so letter in sunday we just open the google form then the part is ready for us right or yeah. we need to skip the part what do you mean the part is ready uh, i i i mean in that uh i think the google form inside the google form each google form yeah. right yeah got a uh, nine part so we no, no, we no, just no this part is this is one one google form oh this is okay okay google okay form. there will be link i am i'm telling you this is there will be nine link one link one google form one google form two google form third google form can you understand oh okay 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 thank you for the understand yeah yeah So okay. you no need to open all. You just open two enough. Whatever I give you. All right. Okay. All right, Doctor. Okay. Thank you. Doctor, sorry. I'm. I want to ask. Ah, uh, how many questions in one part? That depends on the marks. That depends oh. on the marks. Okay. I had to decide. Each question comprises thirteen marks. And thirteen. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank each, you, Doctor. Each part. Each part comprises thirteen marks. So basically, you're going to collect a mark of twenty-six or twenty-five, something like that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Rato. Thank you. Right. But then I want to ask. Yes. So the question will cover from chapter one until chapter yeah. three, right? Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you, Rato. Okay. Any other questions? Sorry, not twenty-six marks, eh? <clears throat> not not twenty-six. Uh, I will twenty-five uh, marks according to RPP. Twenty-five marks. So the marks, don't worry about the marks. That one I will uh, because uh, I cannot. Maybe I will split twelve point five, twelve point five, something like that, or I'll give fifty uh, fifty, something like that. But don't worry, you just do the. As, you cannot see the marks there anyway. You just answer the question. End of the test, you will you will get the marks anyway. Any other questions? All right, In that case. We will end up the class today. Any other question you want to ask, you can ask me in in WhatsApp or something like that. Till then, um, 
good luck in your test and good luck also doing your assignment okay thank you and take care bye bye thank you doctor all right thank you doctor